Okay, so the title of this video feels very negative. I mean, regrets, that's obviously not a good thing, but can I just say, one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone asks someone, like, do you regret anything in life? And their answer is, no, like, everything has led me to where I am. Listen, that is very true, but um, yeah, like, we all have regrets. Like, there are absolutely things I would have done differently in my life and on my wedding day slash leading up to my wedding day. I promise I'm not losing sleep over any of this though. Like it is what it is. It all happened. Like my wedding day, I am just so grateful for how everything turned out. And part two of this video, which will be uploaded a week from today, is actually gonna be all about 20 things. I wasn't planning on it being 20, but it just came out to be 20. 20 things I'm so happy I did on my wedding day or leading up to my wedding day. And I think that video will also be equally helpful for future brides, but yeah, I also want you guys to learn from my mistakes and maybe have that much better of a wedding day because of this. And these are things you just might not have thought of. I didn't. I watched so many of these videos that were like, my wedding day regrets, and I did things accordingly based on what Bride said. These 11 things though, no one really told me about and I'm telling you about them now. Also, there is no order to this. Like, it's gonna be just random things that popped into my mind. So. Number one, and I feel like, I feel like this is something someone told me and I just wasn't paying attention or listening or caring. It was that I did not touch up my hair or my makeup at all. Like I got my hair done at 11 a.m. It looked great, it looked so nice. Then I got my makeup done and I did not touch it up, touch either of them up at all throughout the night. That is, that, that, that's just, that's not good. I mean, when you look at what everything looked like before and then in some of the after photos, I, I, I kind of feel like I looked like a hot mess. Not, cr like it's nothing crazy. It's not that big of a deal. And that's the thing, on your wedding day, at least for me, like you think like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna care so much what I look like. Like, you know, obviously you hire a hair person if you choose to, a makeup person, you want it all to look perfect. On the actual wedding day, I looked in the mirror like maybe once. Like seriously, you don't have time or you're just, you just don't care. You're talking to people, you're living your life. The last thing on my mind was, I wonder what I look like. Like I wonder if my hair's in place. Even when we were doing like the portrait photos, I, I just, I didn't care. I'm just like, all right, I'm here with Zach. Like we're together, that's all that matters. And <laughs> I, I just, I definitely could have used a curling iron. That is for sure. I have naturally very straight hair that doesn't hold curls. And I don't know why I thought it was going to on my wedding day without any touch-ups. The other thing, and this is not gonna be a regret, you might think like, oh wow, maybe you should have done an updo if your hair does not hold curls at all. I am just not comfortable in updos. And on my wedding day, I want to be comfortable, right? Like, so I would rather just a little something, even if it looked a little hot mess-ish. And it really did. <laughs> regret number two is that I was the last one getting ready and this is actually a piece of advice that I ignored. I heard people, I heard the warnings, I heard people say this, don't do it. I did it. I invited Zach's sister, my niece, and then Carly, who was staying with me, and my mom. They all got their makeup done. And originally, I was gonna go toward like the middle or maybe the second to last person. And I just got so overwhelmed with like, oh, the videographer should be showing up shortly, and then the photographer, and I kind of just kept pushing off my getting ready time because I wanted to be able to greet them at the door, which wasn't a big deal in hindsight. Like, I didn't need to greet them at the door, but in my head, I'm like, I must be able to greet them. So when it came time for me to get ready, the videographer and photographer still hadn't arrived, so I had my mom get ready before me. Then I got ready, and when I say like I got ready, and then it was like boom, like we had to get out the door, we had to do the first look, and it just, it was all very rushed. Like I said, I literally didn't look in the mirror. My makeup artist gave me a mirror to look right when I got done, but I mean, then I put the mirror down and I didn't look at myself again for hours. Like I glanced at myself right before walking down the aisle, but I didn't have any makeup with me. I didn't have any hair products with me. Like I didn't bring anything to touch up. Like even in a lot of the photos, it looks like I'm not even wearing lipstick because naturally lipstick is going to wear off. Like it just, it's, it's definitely something I recommend. I personally chose to ignore the warnings. I just, I don't know. It like, it, it was the last thing on my mind the day of the wedding. Oh my gosh, this next one. <sighs> like this is, this is really, I'm stupid and please don't make this mistake. So. When I picked up my wedding dress, they showed me how to bustle it, but my mom is in New York. You know, I'm obviously not from Cincinnati, as you guys know. I didn't have anyone with me to pick up my wedding dress, so I had to remember all of this by myself. There were gold pins in my dress to 
kind of just like bustle up the, what's it like, the train without actually bustling it. Because if you bustle the dress, it's going to be a whole mess to get it unbustled. So they just put these gold pins in and then it was my duty, my responsibility, which I didn't even know this, but in hindsight, it just makes a lot of sense. Like no one said this to me, but I should have known to undo the pins for all of my photos so you could see the full dress. Like I'll insert photos of what the full dress looks like. But I did not know this. And for, first of all, all of our photos, like all of the photos of me and Zach are with my dress bustled essentially. And it just doesn't look as pretty, like, cause obviously like just with the train and my train wasn't huge or anything, it wasn't super long, but it just looks super pretty. And I didn't know about this. Flash forward to, we are all about to walk down the aisle. Cause for us, we didn't have wedding parties. So we had Zach's mom walk him down the aisle. Then we had my brother walk my mom down the aisle. Zach's grandmother walked down the aisle with our officiant Tim, who's Zach's uncle, Zach's dad and his mom. And then of course our flower girl and ring bearer, which was so cute. I didn't get to see it in the moment, but I got to see pictures after, which I love. And then everyone had walked in the aisle. They closed the doors cause they were about to open them for me to walk down the aisle. And then all of a sudden someone says, wait, what are these gold pins in your dress? Like my uh, day of coordinator. And I'm like, wait, what? I look back, all of the pins are in my dress. Zach had later told me he saw them when we were taking photos and he just thought it was part of the look. Like I can assure you it was not. And so they are racing to take these pins out. There were like a lot of them and I'm supposed to be walking down the aisle. So there was just so much anxiety of, oh my gosh, like the song was about to end. Like imagine how awkward that would be. Like I'm walking down and then the song ends. Like it was, you know, for a certain length of time and they're racing and, and I could tell they were stressed and that was making me stressed. And Zach had been standing up there because there was like a delay and he was like, what the heck? Like if she was going to back out, you know, she should have told me this morning. I mean, that was a joke. Obviously he didn't think I was going to back out, but like it was a delay. Finally, they got all the gold pins out. And then I walked down the aisle with the train, which I forgot even existed. So that's a regret because one, I was so stressed leading up to walking down the aisle. I also had the stress of having to tell my dad to slow down because that man was trying to like drag me down the aisle, but I couldn't tell him to slow down because people would have heard me. Like how awkward would that be if I'm walking down the aisle and you hear me being like, slow down. So I was really trying to like, pull him back a little bit because our aisle was so short and our videographers and photographers said, make sure you really slow down because with the aisle being so short, like we need, we need you to be there for a certain amount of time in order to get the footage, in order to get the photos. There was definitely a lot of stress and anxiety walking down the aisle. It's so funny even looking at photos because I'm just like, wow, I know in that moment I was like blacking out, like seriously. But then once I saw Zach, I was blacking out for a whole different reason, just blacking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, he's there. That was a very niche mistake, but I cannot be the only human who has made it. Honestly, I probably am like, that's so stupid. Next one, <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew, I like knew this was gonna happen. Like there was no world in which it wasn't going to happen. I drank too much. No, I didn't get sick. No, I didn't pass out. Like nothing like that. But I, I just, um, parts of the night are definitely <laughs> a little um, hazy for me. Uh, yeah, but like the thing is, I knew that was going to happen because I'm the type of person, I have three drinks and I feel it. I don't drink that often, so that's obviously why, but they are giving you a drink every second. Like that's the thing you're okay. Well, at least for our venue, we got married at Drew's Pavilion in Covington, Kentucky, AKA Cincinnati. It's literally a five minute walk to downtown Cincinnati. And the day of coordinator there will literally, if she sees your drink is about to be empty, she hands you a new one. And, and so that was beautiful, but it was also dangerous, very dangerous. And yeah, so I, like, listen, it wasn't anything crazy. Like, I don't think anyone would have thought much of it. I don't think anyone knew I was drunk until the after party. We went to Tin Roof, like just casual. Like, what? it wasn't like a, a planned after party. It kind of just popped into my mind and I'm like, we're going to Tin Roof. That's when, actually my dad, I've showed it before in my vlogs. My dad took a video of me at Tin Roof. Like, you could just tell I am gone. Like, I am definitely a little faded. But like, I guess, I guess the thing is like, just to defend myself, like I didn't drink a crazy excessive amount because it's not like I got sick. It's not like I passed out. I just, I just was a little um, unsteady. <laughs> and my cousins did say they noticed. Normally people can never tell when I'm really drunk. I'm not the type of person who gets like crazy. I'm just, I don't know, more talkative maybe. 
they said they noticed just based on like the fact that like I wasn't like I wasn't really all there. <laughs> this one, this is actually more so Zach's complaint, but I get it. It was too short. And I understand that it, the day flies by and everyone says that. And it's true, but also it's obvious. Like every day of our lives isn't that long. I, I, okay, that sounds weird, but it's one of the reasons I decided not to stress so much about my wedding day. It's just a day. Like it's literally just a day. So the day, the night was very short. Like you, you show up, you blink and then it's done. That wasn't really a surprise to me, but Zach wishes we would have opted to do a whole extra hour. It was from six to 11, 11? No, I think it was like six to 10.30. Oh my gosh, I, uh, how do I not know? Hey. hey, do you remember what time our wedding ended? Uh, it wasn't until like 11. Was it 11? I think so, you were the one that had to figure it all out. Um, but you wanted it to go to midnight. I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm filming a video about wedding regrets, and I know that was one of yours. Yeah, it was, but then, I mean, I think I was ended up being happy that we went, just went out, so. So it's not a regret? 50-50. <laughs> it could go either way. Yeah, coin flip. Changes. The yeah, I was going to say changes by the day. <laughs> <laughs> some, some days you've woken up and you've been okay with it. <laughs> Nice. If you think of any other regrets, let me know. I'm filming the video right now. Uh, gotcha. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. Bye. He's not going to be letting me know. He, he, the, the man can't have any regrets. He didn't. He was not in charge of a single thing, I guess, except for our booking of rehearsal dinner, but which was stellar, if I must say. Like, he did a really good job. But, yeah, so he told me, like, oh, my gosh, like, it was too short. Like, we should have done an extra hour, but I already did add on an extra hour, and every single minute costs money right and I know like you know what you might say is like oh but that's worth it right like just add that extra hour do you know the extra thousand dollars however much it is I don't know that's it, it wasn't a thousand I don't know but listen one thing I really tried to not do with the wedding was say that for everything it's so easy for every little thing to be like oh but this is worth it and that's worth it and, th and then you're spending uh, you know 4,000 extra dollars, 5,000, however much it is. That's something to consider. And then for me, I opted for the later ceremony time. I feel like the most common ceremony times are like 4.30, 5.30, 6.30. I don't really hear of many 7.30s, but 6.30 I feel like is like a late ceremony. And the reason for that is I wanted us to be able to experience the beautiful view of downtown Cincinnati at night. In the summer months, you guys know the sun sets so late. Like here in Cincy, it's been setting at like 9 p.m. And if we started at 5.30 and then ended at 10.30, we would only get about an hour of that beautiful downtown Cincinnati view. I mean, obviously you still have the beautiful view when it's light outside, but I just love the lights and everything. And we got the surprise with the fireworks because it was 4th of July weekend slash Taylor Swift was in town. So I think we got both sets of fireworks because she had fireworks at her show and it was right across the river so that was amazing and so I don't regret it because I really really think that the the beautiful view at night lit up like I just that was one of the most magical parts of the wedding like everyone was gravitating outside taking photos like uh, I just it, it uh, I don't know for me, that's not a regret, but something to consider. Ooh, this one, yeah, okay. I actually wish we broke tradition. I ended up having us book two separate rooms at the hotel the night before the wedding because of course, the bride and the groom are not supposed to stay together the night before the wedding, right? Like that's what you always hear, it's special that way. I don't even know, I'm making things up. No, I kind of wish we did, like I, 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 I just I ended up going up to my hotel room alone. All I wanted to be was with Zach. Like that, that's the only person I wanted to be with, obviously, especially because during the night before the wedding, the rehearsal dinner, and then the actual wedding, I wasn't even with Zach a lot because, I mean, obviously we had so many people in town and people we never get to see. Like we almost like divided and conquered, honestly. Like he'd be with these people, I'd be with those people. So I didn't get to see him a lot. It would have been really special to be able to like, you know, fall asleep next to him the night before the wedding, but in my mind, I'm like, oh no, like that would be crazy, like tradition says this, and it just, I, I really, really, really wish I had actually just booked the one hotel, not to mention it would have been a lot less expensive, and Zach had texted me the night before the wedding when we both went up to our room saying like, come up to my room, like da da da, I felt like we were like, I don't know, 16, but I, 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 I literally in my head was like, I am not wasting this hotel room. We booked this, we're paying a certain amount of money. Like I am not letting this room go to waste. So I refused to go to his room and I 
just fell asleep alone. Like it was nice to just be alone and decompress, but I don't know. If I were to do it over again, I honestly would have just stayed with Zach. I know that's like crazy, breaking tradition, this and that. I really would have preferred it. My next regret is that I feel like we didn't get to really soak it all in the next morning. I feel like we got up and then, well, one of the things was a lot of my family was in town and they were watching an Irish match. My family's from Ireland and there was an Irish match on. So we woke up in this beautiful room. Like it had the most amazing, first of all, setup. Like I barely got to see this room because this is the one Zach stayed in the night before the wedding. It was like the penthouse suite at the AC hotel in downtown Cincinnati. Like it was amazing. Not worth the money though, I must say. Like I actually wish we didn't do this, but whatever, we did. So we woke up and then we were out of the room by like 10 a.m. because my family was coming back to my house to watch that game, which was the best thing ever. Like just getting to decompress with my family the next day was just like my favorite thing ever. I don't get to see them often, obviously, but we didn't need to get there that early. Like I ended up showing up an hour before my family even got there. So, and I gave them the garage code so they didn't even really need me there like right away. I wish we would have woken up and like really soaked it all in and maybe had a cup of coffee on the balcony, something like that. But it was literally just wake up, shower, go. Not ideal and I feel like we didn't really like, I don't know take advantage of that wonderful hotel room. Number eight, I got no pictures in my second dress. Funnily enough, I actually have to edit this because, oh my gosh, I'm exposing myself here. But so I spoke about it a few vlogs ago, like, oh, I can't believe I didn't get any pictures in my second wedding dress. I was so excited about it. And this was one that I really mostly just got to wear to the bars after. Like I didn't want to show up to the bars in a ball gown, like absolutely not. So my photographers had already left by the time I changed into it and I really wasn't snapping any photos like myself. I didn't even have my phone on me, but just a few days ago, my friend Gaby sent me a photo we took, I guess at the very end, like right before leaving, you can tell I am like faded in this picture. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I definitely, I look rough, but I did get at least one photo in my second dress. And the bad part is like, I really don't remember taking this photo and that's not good. <laughs> but yeah, I guess maybe I would have changed into my second dress sooner. I literally, like they were like, last song or like last two songs, I just ran into the bridal suite. I actually even had like shapewear I was gonna wear with it. It was gonna be so amazing. Didn't even change into the shapewear. Like literally just like threw this on and then we left for the bars. So yeah, I guess I just, I don't know. I was having so much fun at my wedding. I wasn't even thinking of changing out of my first wedding dress, but I guess I should have had more of like a plan. My next regret has actually kind of changed, but I do wanna say this just for people like to keep this in mind. We got married on July 1st, 4th of July weekend. And I don't know what made us decide on this. I just was thinking like, oh wow, like maybe people will get off from work. And you know what? I actually think for a lot of people it did work out. I thought like it could be great. They can make like a three day weekend out of it. And you know, they won't have to take vacation days. I've, I had a lot of people coming from out of town and that was great. But the problem was, the flights were so expensive because it was a holiday weekend. And I was thinking Cincinnati's not a destination spot for the 4th of July, so it's probably not gonna be that expensive to get here. No, I'm an idiot. Anytime there's a holiday and people are off work, the flights are going to go up. And it, it costs people like more money than it should have to get to Cincinnati. And I feel awful about that. Like I really, <sighs> I feel so bad about that. So I don't necessarily know if I would recommend getting married on a holiday weekend just because of that if you have a lot of people coming from out of town. If you don't, that's fine. But yeah, it really wasn't great. And then the other thing you guys know, I picked my wedding date and then just a few months later, Taylor Swift decided to announce she was coming to Cincinnati on that exact day. And that was causing so much craziness. Oh my gosh, the traffic is gonna be like nothing you've ever seen. I'm imitating like just what, everyone was saying like the news and just everyone like I just it was becoming such a headache where in my head I was like I've been to Cincinnati during you know crazy events Oktoberfest and this and that like we're all gonna survive it's gonna be fine but I just had so many people who were constantly like just reminding me that this is gonna be a nightmare this is insane and it just like it just became such a headache where I was like why couldn't I have picked any other day why? Like, why did I pick July 1st, but the first, the flight prices and then Taylor Swift and it just was becoming such a nightmare. I do have to say one thing I learned, I should include this in my next video, but with the tips, getting those firework shots was kind of amazing. So if you 
are getting married next year, maybe July 4th, like if you want those shots at night. But anyway, I mean, this is gonna be my last regret and it's just allowing myself to get worried at all or stressed in any way. I will say I would describe myself as a pretty low maintenance bride. I, I didn't really, I don't know, I, I wasn't, you guys know, that much into like the wedding planning experience. I just, I just wasn't. Like you can't fake it. Like I, I couldn't help that I literally didn't care that much. But, um, but I am the type of person where if, someone around me is stressed or like I get stressed. I get stressed very easily in natural life where I just really wish I didn't stress about a single thing. It's just not worth it because it's not gonna change anything. And that's what I told myself and I do think I like coped with it well for the most part, but I mean, I would take back even a millisecond of stress that I had. Like, it's just, what's the point? So. Yeah, like it's all going to work out no matter what. I thought it was going to pour on my wedding day. I refused to look at the weather app because everything I was hearing was telling me, yes, it is going to rain on your wedding day. It did not end up raining, which was the most insane thing in the entire world, but I shouldn't have even thought about it. Like, why did I even give that, you know, space in my brain? Like, who the heck cares? And I really did have a pretty positive attitude with the rain on the wedding day like i was looking up rainy day photography inspo and how are you here do you want to give a regret i have a long list all right let's hear your number one regret what are your big ones that you've dropped on everybody i'm not saying it i already said it to them <laughs> oh my little shorty he's so <laughs> short all right going with the dark yeah <laughs> you look disgusted <laughs> the dark lips today i don't look disgusted i just said oh, you're, you're going with the dark lips today I am with it to you. <laughs> Not much. What was your number one regret? No, what Zach, did you start Zach, with? Zach, they already heard it. It's boring to them. Tell me yours. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, you're boring to them. My number one regret. I think that I didn't plan out my day of the wedding a little better because it was kind of just me, Sam, and Kevin just sitting around chilling. Like, it was fun and I enjoyed talking to them and seeing them, but I probably could have like planned that better. I mean, the venue, I like the venue. The weather turned out good. Cool photos with the fireworks. Like, I mean. God, to be a man. Like, the fact that all he, he just shows up and he's like, yeah, those were cool photos. Fireworks were nice. What? what if that's what you did? I was planning everything. <laughs> you didn't plan the photo. Like, the photographer does that stuff. Zach, like, oh my God. <laughs> you're going to diminish my... <laughs> No, you're saying, like, we had, like, that much of, like, you just showed up as well. Oh, the only regret I really have was just the whole night before and the planning of that. Yeah, I mean... Uh, it's like, I'm kidding, you're the... <laughs> it didn't go perfect, but it didn't what, go bad. What, what bad about Nothing. it? Nothing. That's what, like... <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I don't think Moraline was as prepped for us as I would have liked them to be. Like, no offense, anybody from Moraline. But... Yeah. We reserved the room, which that turned out fine. It was for only for a small group of people, about 20. So that was fine, but we had the outside portion reserved, but like they didn't block it off or have a sign that said reserved so people would just walk up. And I'm not blaming the people because if I was walking around for Taylor Swift or the Reds and I saw a bar that was outside and I wanted to get a drink, I would also walk up and get it. Like it would make sense to like stop there and so people would be stopping there and we were paying. Well, the worst people part- People had tabs and different things. So then they would have to like tell them like to no, go- No, but the worst part, there was no one there. Yeah. They didn't have bartenders there. So yeah, yeah they that, also didn't. Well, I, well I, I was honestly kidding though. I mean, I thought it ended up working out great. It did. And I think, I mean, nobody needed to have like 15 drinks that night, like right then. So it wasn't- My the problem end of the was world, I though. was parched. I wasn't drinking the night I before. Know. I just needed water and there was just no one there. So that was my problem. Yeah, I'd give them like a B plus for the dinner part and probably like a C plus for the, like their organize, organized part of the outside. But it was all, again, I, I wouldn't change the location or anything because it was just easy. Ever, the hotel was right there. I did say one of my regrets <clears> was <throat> not sleeping in the same room the night before. Zach, don't <laughs> even. <laughs> I, wonder who, I wonder who brought that up. Me, as I was <laughs> texting you that night, like just that is like a funny like, story like i was just texting her like just come to the room like why are we sleeping apart i'm like nope yeah i mean i really don't have that like a long list of regrets no not at all i'm about to do my part two of um things i'm really happy we did uh, the opposite of regrets probably good it's not 
this turn. Like, you're not, I know you're not being negative, but obviously just the positive point. I'm just the negative. negative. <laughs> this is what went wrong. No, but you learn from regrets, you know? You learn from your mistakes. And like I said, this is not, this is more so me trying to help people, not me like being like, I can't believe like I didn't get a, what, what did I have? Second wedding dress picture or like, you know, it's nothing crazy, but yes, be sure to stick around for part two. I'm going to post that a week from today. And then I also have in my uh, description box, a playlist of wedding content for any of you guys who are currently planning a wedding or maybe need a little help, need a little guidance. I pretty much just like recorded the whole process of me planning my own wedding from start to finish, looking at venues and just all of it. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video with a vlog. And then after that will be part two for this video. Bye.